a brilliant character comedienne whom millions have already heard on the air, we have great pleasure in presenting the inimitable Suzette Terry. Thing that my little Ada Henrietta's married. Married and gone on her honeymoon with a man. Poor little thing, she's only 44. She's gone off on her honeymoon to somewhere on the coast. I can't help thinking of her now as pale as any ghost. And me not there to guide her at the time she needs me most. You can quite appreciate a mother's feelings. Oh well, it was a lovely wedding. Full do, organ, choir and no nonsense. Of course, Hubert wanted one of those register office affairs, but I put my foot down because I think that a register office wedding doesn't give the bride's mother a chance of having her own back with the neighbours. I said, no, you'll be married in front of a heap of witnesses and you wear a wreath and veil, my girl, and for heaven's sake, try and look as if you're entitled to them. Give me the good old-fashioned wedding. I've no patience with this present-day laxativeness. The presents were handsome, all laid out in the front room, Looked as like a thrupney bazaar, but still I must say that the bride and bridegroom exchanged very sensible presents. Now, um, Ada gave you, but a garden roller and an ear syringe. And uh, he gave her a picture he painted himself when he was down with a gathered finger. It's called Winter Over Dartmoor. Looks more like a plate of porridge to me, but still everyone to their taste. Now, her father and I thought of giving them this three-piece suite, and then we decided not to get rid of it yet. Poor you, but you know he's only five foot two. I can't think how a daughter of mine came to marry such a little shrimp. But they're half a man's better than nothing, especially to get the right half. Of course, you know, Ada's had other chances. Hubert's not the only fly in the ointment, oh no. She was very fond of a commercial traveller, but you know what travellers are. Here today and gone for a fortnight. Always stopping in damp hotels and coming home to dry their samples. But there's one thing about you, but I don't think he'll ever answer her back. He's not like some men, you know, always got an answer ready. Only this morning I said to my husband, where were you last night? He said, it's a lie. What a husband, what a washout. Do you know, I only married him because I was afraid of burglars. And during the first week we were married, he pinched all I'd got. Oh, I've had some worrying times through him. Oh, I've had some sleepless nights. There I was last night, lying awake hour after hour. At last he said, try sleeping on the edge of the bed. You might drop off. I said to Adrian, you, but I said, now you go to Skegness for your honeymoon because it's bracing. Poor you, but he needs bracing. Shaking from top to toe he was. But he didn't forget his manners, not you, but now. When the gentleman asked him if he'd have Ada for his lawful wife, he said, after you, sir. Oh, well, it's all over. Well, I suppose I'd better get to and tidy up this room a bit before I go to bed. Here it goes. <laughs>